Hi, welcome to Savi's Fashion Studio. I am Savita. This is a fun and easy class wherein I'll show how to make a circular skirt for a kid with knit fabric and we'll be finishing the waist with the exposed elastic or soft waistband elastic. This is an easy class because even if you just know how to use the sewing machine, you will be able to do this because not many calculations are involved. Usually for knit fabric or elastic, we use the zigzag stitches and that's what we have done in this class. But if your machine does not have that option, do try with the straight stitches. Slightly pull the fabric and the elastic as you sew and it should be fine. All the supplies that we have used in this class is available on our website. That is fabric, exposed elastic and the accessory is available on our website servicefashionstudio.com. So let's start with the class. So this is the fabric I'll be using. This is a knit fabric which has super stretch. It's lightweight and also it's not transparent so you don't need a lining hence it's very comfortable to wear and also this comes in double width that is the width of this fabric is 60 inches so we'll be making a short circular skirt with this fabric and we'll be finishing the waistband with exposed elastic or soft waistband elastic this is called soft waistband elastic because it's smooth on both sides and you can directly use it to finish the waistband of skirts or pants because of the smooth finish it's very comfortable to wear even when direct contact with the skin. It's ideal for kids wear and also for adults for skirts or pants. These exposed elastics are also available in different widths. This width is one and a half inches. So this is the one I'll be using for this project. You can also get self-designed elastic. When you buy the elastic, it's very important to check the stretchability and quality of the elastic. When you stretch the elastic and release the stretch, it should come back to its original shape. Now the skirt length I want is 19 inches, out of which 1.5 inches will be of the elastic and the remaining will be from the fabric. First of all, measure around the waist, that is where you'll be normally wearing the skirt. And then depending on the stretchability of the elastic, you will need to reduce from the elastic length. For example, if the waist round is 30 inches, you will not be taking 30 inches elastic because it will stretch. So you would need to reduce around 4 to 5 inches if it is a soft elastic like this. Or if the elastic is little rigid, then you can reduce a little less. The easiest way though is to wrap the elastic around the waist till you feel comfortable fit and then measure the elastic that you need. Let me show it on the dress form. The easiest way to know how much elastic to take is take the elastic that you'll be using and wrap it around the waist where you normally wear your skirt. Now if I wrap it comfortably this is what it is but you don't want it so loose for the skirt so slightly stretch it till it's a comfortable fit. So this is the elastic needed. Add one inch extra for sewing the edges together. So that is the elastic requirement. The other method is use your measuring tape to measure exactly and then you would need to reduce two to six inches from the elastic depending on the stretchability of the elastic. The waist measurement I'm working on here is 33 inches and when I wrap the elastic around I just need 27 inches. So that is the elastic I've taken here take the measurement you need plus add one inch extra for sewing the ends together i have 1.10 meters of fabric here as i told earlier the width of this fabric is more and i don't need that much width so i'll fold only as much as the length of the fabric i have here so i'll get a perfect square the length here is 44 inches so width also i'll mark 44 inches and cut off the extra fabric which can be used for some other project. Now I have folded the fabric in four layers. Let me explain it on this paper sheet. I have taken a fabric length of 44 inches and I have also taken the width as 44 inches that is the width of the fabric was 60 inches but I have cut off the extra and I've kept only 44 inches so I got a square. I folded the fabric widthwise that is kept selvage on selvage and then folded the fabric lengthwise. So I've got four layers of fabric. All the open edges are here and I've got two folds here. You need to lay it this way only if you do not want any seam in the sides. Now in this corner we'll be marking the waist measurement that is here the measurement I'm working on is 33 inches but I'll not be marking 33 inches and ideally we'll be marking the waist measurement divided by 4 because 
we have got four layers here when you open it you will get your full waist measurement but here i am not marking one fourth of 33 inches because this is very stretchy fabric i'll be marking as per the elastic measurement we have taken that is 26 inches divided by 4 26 inches divided by 4 would be six and a half inches so i'll be marking six and a half inches in a slight curve so when i measure this curve i should be getting six and a half inches now where to mark this there is a calculation to find the radius but here we are not getting into those details we'll make it in a simple way a detailed class on making different variations of circular skirts is in our online classes on our website servicefashionstudio.com So I need to mark six and a half inches here in this corner. I'll curve the tape slightly and see where I'll get six and a half inches and mark it and then measure from corner to the marking that is four and quarter inches. Do the same marking on the other side because the distance from the corner to the marking here and the distance from the corner to the marking on this side should be same. So I marked four and quarter inches from the corner on one side and same on the other. Now do the same in the center as well. Now hold the tape and confirm that you're getting the measurement that you need. If you get more, shift the marking a little up and if you get less, shift the marking a little lower so that you get a bigger curve. So this means this is four and quarter is the radius. So draw a nice curve. Now do not cut on this curve because you need half an inch seam allowance. So when you cut, just cut half an inch above. Now from this marking, mark the length of the skirt all around. The elastic width is one and a half inches. So reducing the elastic width, I'll be marking. Again, you'll need to add seam allowance for the lower hem, depending on the kind of finish you'll be making. For this fabric, as it does not fray, I'll just keep it raw. I will not finish the lower hem. Or you can also do a rolled hem. But if you want to fold and finish the hem, then you need to give extra seam allowance. There's another way of marking this circle by tying a string to a pen and placing it in one corner and going all around but i find this convenient now cut half an inch about this curve that is the seam allowance and cut on the other marking as well Now let me open this. So the marking was done on the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side. So we have got something like a donut. Now if you see here, the elastic length and the skirt waist length is same because that's how I've cut it as I did not want gathers in the skirt waist. I want it nice and plain. But if you want, you can keep the elastic as it is and keep the skirt waist a little bigger. And as you sew the elastic, the skirt waist will gather and you will have gathers at the waist. Even that can be made. This is one of the ways. So it's very easy to make and very easy to stitch. So we'll do the stitching. And in this 1.10 meters of fabric you can make this short skirt around 20 inches length also you can make a crop top for a kid with the leftover fabric so let's start sewing so i'm sewing with my uh, juki hw machine first we'll sew the elastic edges together at half inch seam that is the right side of the elastic is inside and the wrong side is on top i'm using a zigzag stitch I've already made a free tutorial on using this machine. Usually we overlap the elastic edges and sew for normal elastic but in this we keep it together and sew and then flatten the seam and then you can sew here at these two edges. Lock at the beginning and the end. I'm using the auto lock option here.
So I've joined the two edges together. Now make four equal parts, that is hold the join seam and mark on the other side and then keep the marking and the join seam and mark on other two sides. So you are making four equal parts. And do the same with the skirt, that is make four equal parts making small notches in the skirt waist to make four equal parts. Now take the elastic. You can put this joint in the side and if you remember we had given half inch extra. So place the elastic edge half inch below the edge of the skirt waist. Pin it in place. This is the right side of the elastic and this is the right side of the skirt. So this is the next marking on the elastic. Match it with the next marking or notch in the skirt. If you remember we had cut the skirt waist equal to the elastic. So it matches exactly. But then if you had kept the skirt waist bigger and you wanted gathers then this marking and this marking would be in different places. In that case you would get looseness in the skirt waist which would be gathered when the elastic is stretched and do the same all around take the next marking on the elastic and place it on the next notch of the skirt and place the elastic edge half an inch below the skirt waist now we'll be sewing I'm using the zigzag stitch place the needle a little above the edge of the elastic and that's where we'll start sewing I'll be using the auto lock option to lock the stitch When you place the elastic, just place it half an inch below the fabric edge. If you have a confusion, you can mark half an inch below and place the edge of the elastic on that marking. I've done sewing and this is how it looks. Try to stitch to the edge of the elastic so that this edge of the elastic does not come up and it gives a neat and nice finish. This is how the inside looks. If you are using any other fabric which frays then you need to overlock the edges first and then sew the elastic. I will use this accessory on the belt here. This can be used for belts or purses or clutches. This has two pins here. Just straighten it. I will show how to use this on this piece of elastic. Gently place this and press where you want to position. Now using a blunt needle or any other tool very gently make way push the elastic side so that the pin can go through it now insert it very gently push the pins to the other side and now lock the pins in this way that's it it's done let me show the skirt on the dress form The skirt is done and you see the fabric drapes so well. You can make the skirt longer also and this skirt is very easy to make. If you do make one, please share it on our Facebook page Service Fashion Studio. We would love to see your work. So thanks for watching this class. See you soon in the next class. Until then, happy sewing.